So everyone's been moaning about 2016 and how awful it is. And cynical me was like, yeah, maybe, but it's only going to get worse next year. Um, so this is my positive New Year's message. It was something that I wrote earlier in the year, some of you might have seen, and something that I wrote tonight. Um, and this is about not giving up and not giving in. It's called 2016, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Passing of Time. As bitter autumn winds whip orange leaves from the trees, I look to my friends and what's left of their dreams. We started kind-hearted, passed through cynical schemes, and some of us departed when we were barely past our teens. They said we'd never amount to nothing, as little as gaps between the woodland trees that little rays of sun in. I felt like, Christ, at least we survived, ain't that something? There were times back there when that seemed unlikely. On the go like road runner, but failing painfully like Wiley. Walking home alone, trying to make nice strangers fight me. When yet again, fate spat in my eye just to spite me. Now I've been all over this island. Somehow grown with the gross and the violence. Done my time with the dope and the night slicing sirens. I still put my hope in a rebel alliance. And the best part is that we did blow up a load of their Death Stars. Spring brings fresh growth and winter won't last. See, I changed my ways. I try to find beauty in every one of the calendar's days. There's something to love in all seasons. From falling leaves to fields of snow and flowers in bloom. Or just people to believe in. Sometimes we gotta find our strength from fighting our demons. When they colonize common sense that makes us heathen. The cries of cops on sight might keep us awake all night. But they can't keep us from dreaming. As white cops deal out justice with gunshots, the poor try to get by in a ghetto, selling their bodies of crack rocks, thinking, thank God, they're not in Aleppo, where kids are buried by their moms who couldn't care less whether they were murdered by Turkish, Russian, or US bombs. Meanwhile, on the internet, the Western world mourns another celeb's death. Fed up with the inventive festive, I might regret this, but I scream into the night, get some effing perspective! And then I drink another beer for breakfast. In Wetherspoons, the kids are singing Christmas songs. Moonrise on a day of rest, but I'm restless. Another year over and gone. Seems every one of us is depressive. Massacres happen and then we forget or get out of our heads. Because no one can cope with reality. Fact is, we ain't seen nothing yet. It's time for some backbone and some gravity. Let's get back down to earth as we celebrate another new year. No illusions now. It's going to be bloody hard work. Well, fucking hell, that's why we're here. So tonight, drink your beer and sing. But tomorrow, the battle begins, same as it ever was. Peasants against kings. No one ever said it wouldn't be tricky. Take 2016 on the chin. Drink your whiskey. We've got a world to win. Who's with me? See you next year. It ain't gonna be pretty.